NBC7 Chicago News will be right back after this commercial break. Don't forget to stay tuned for our news report on the 28th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. Bye. I'm going to wash the dishes. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to play Minecraft in my bedroom. I'm going to hang out with my friend Amanda Montgomery at her house. I'm going to get myself a little snack. I guess I'll watch the commercials. Are you tired of eating the same food every day? Do you ever wish you wanted to eat something better? Well then, head on down to Eric's Pizzeria. Our employees here at Eric's Pizzeria work seven days every single week. We do deliveries, takeouts, and dine-ins. We will provide you with the best and excellent service for deliveries. The number is on the screen. Call 312-206-1995. Hello, this is Eric's Pizzeria. How may we help you? Um, can I get an extra large pizza with spinach, liver, Brussels sprouts, onions, cliff carrots, toenail clippings, anchovies, mashed potatoes, and meatloaf bits please? Um, um, okay, your total cost is $45.23. We will be there in about 10 or 20 minutes. Thanks for ordering. Um, here's your weird pizza. Thanks. Sonic. Hey, what are you doing? Get back over here right now. Hello, 911. This is the owner of Eric's Pizzeria. You are not going to believe this. A teenage girl just stole my pizza car. She is going down the road and turning right. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. What the heck is going on? Your daughter just stole my car. Police cars and helicopters are chasing her. I'm going to be escorted into one police car. You guys will be escorted into another one. Okay, we're on it. Let's go. This is Amanda Montgomery here reporting live on ABC7 Chicago News. Today, I'm standing next to East Golf Road in Schoenberg where a car chase is being involved. Reports are coming in at a teenager with black hair, a raspberry hoodie, white pants, and icy blue slippers, identified as Shannon Arva. We're now getting some reports that she prank called a local pizzeria, named Eric's Pizzeria, and has currently hijacked a pizza delivery car. They're coming up right now. As you can see, this is an extremely critical situation. There are even more police cars and helicopters around the city, as well as the FBI agents who are trying to stop the car. Officials said that Shannon was driving at speeds upwards of 65 miles per hour down several streets throughout the city. We're reporting more details of this incident in the meantime. Stay tuned for more news and information as the story develops. Once again, this is Amanda Montgomery over at ABC7 Chicago News. We will be right back after this commercial break. Hey, give me back my car. No, 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 no,
we'll go on the record. In the matter of the people of Chicago, Illinois vs. Shannon, Ottawa, she has done the following. Prank called an industry, assaulted a pizza man with pizza boxes, stole a pizza delivery vehicle, caused a large law enforcement scene, ran over an innocent bystander with extremely serious, critical, and significant injuries, and ran from law enforcement. We will now hear the extent of injuries caused by you, Shannon Ottawa. Shannon, you're seriously sick in the head. His entire body is broken, he can't breathe without gasping in pain, his lungs are destroyed, and he needs a permanent chest tube. Now, what do the people have to say about this? Guilty. 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 Shannon, you are hereby sentenced to be grounded by your parents for an extreme amount of time and to withhold severe punishment at the hands of your parents. Case closed. Shannon. Do you know that you could have been executed for all of the crimes you committed? You know that man was extremely close to being killed. Why did you do this? Because dad, I hate the pizza guy, and I had to prank him. He wanted to have his car back so I had to run over him. I'm so sorry. That doesn't matter. And your apologies mean nothing now. What can us and sorry do now? You should be ashamed of yourself, young lady. That's it. You're grounded until Michael's hospital bills are paid. I have to agree with your parents. Go to your room this instant and go to bed right now. Wow.